EastEnders star's fate revealed after signing new contract. Recently, fans of EastEnders have heaped praise on the BBC soap for its gritty storylines, including Keegan Baker, Zach Morris, and Shaquille Kazmi, Shaheen Jafar Ghali, being stabbed. This all happened thanks to executive consultant John York, who returned last year on an apparent temporary basis. He announced in December last year that his initial three-month contract had been extended to a year. But now, according to The Sun, the soap top dog will be around for a bit longer until at least the end of the year. John replaced controversial producer Sean O'Connor and was supposed to be there on a temporary basis until a new head honcho was found. As well as seeing over Shaquille's exit, John wrote out the Branning sisters, Ben Mitchell and Vincent Hubbard. He also brought back a number of popular characters including Tanya Cross, Joe Joyner, Mel Owen. Tamsin Outhwaite, Tiffany Butcher, Maisie Smith. The Slater dynasty had a boost too when Kat, Jesse Wallace, Big Mo, Layla Morse, and Jean, Gillian Wright, returned. New characters brought in under John's reign include Aiden McGuire, Patrick Bergen, Hunter Owen, Charlie Winter. Haley Slater, Katie Jarvis, and the Ahmeds. John initially saw over the soap between 2000 and 2002, during which he introduced EastEnders' fourth weekly episode. He got rid of most of the DeMarco clan and introduced the Slaters for the first time. The BBC soap has had viewers on the edge of their seats this week after Shaquille and Keegan were stabbed by gang members. It was confirmed that Shaquille will die, after Mick Carter, Danny Dyer, mistook him for being drunk. He found Keegan in an alley by the Queen Vic but decided not to wait for an ambulance and set off with the injured team in his car. But it seemed tragedy was about to strike when Mick's car looked like it was about to be hit by an oncoming lorry. Meanwhile, Shaky had collapsed in the square garden after going to try and find help. East Enders continues tomorrow at 7.30pm on BBC One.